Okay, so I want to talk in this video about sets associated with functions. So first of all, uh, unlike the way you thought of functions in algebra, you can think of a function actually as being a set. So a function f can be thought of as a subset of the product of two sets a and b. Uh, now that's not the way we we owe are used to thinking of it. We're used to writing, and this still applies, uh, a function from A to B, where A is the domain and B is the codomain. So um, how do we think of a function? Well, if we have some elements in our domain, um, we can think of a function as a way of associating those elements with elements in our range. So, for example, uh, we can do this by way of arrows. So A goes to 1, B goes to 2, C goes to 3. And that means that among the ordered pairs in F, so F contains at least the ordered pairs, A1, B2, and C3. So another way of thinking of the ordered pairs in, in this set is uh, the pairs where A is associated to B. And just as an example that you're very familiar with, just off to the side here, um, we're used to the function F mapping from R to R, from the real numbers to the real numbers. Uh, where f of x is equal to x squared. So this, um, for example, f contains the ordered pair 2, 4. Right? 2 is associated to 4 by this function. So let's do an example um, of the way I want you to think about functions. So here, our A is the set A, B, C, D, E, and our B is the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm going to define my function just by drawing arrows. So A can go to 1, say B goes to 1, C goes to 2, D goes to 3, E goes to 3. So our function f is the set a1, b1, c2, d3, and e3. Now let's talk about the sets associated with this particular function. There's the domain. That's all of A. So the domain is the set A, B, C, D, E. That B is kind of terrible. And there's the codomain, which is the set 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six. Notice that four, five, and six are hit by no arrows. In other words, they're, they're not the second part of any ordered pair. Well, that's all right, but we do want to have a name for those things that are hit. So the one, two, three, and four to separate them out. And we call this the image of A. And that is the set 1, 2, 3, and 4. A lot of books call this the range. And notice whether you use image of A or range, it's not necessarily the whole codomain. Now there are other ways of associating sets there are other sets we want to think of associated to functions. 
Um, and the first one is similar to the image of A, but we could pick some subset of the domain. So just some subset of the domain here. It's not the whole domain necessarily. And we could look at where that where are all the elements of that subset land and we want to call that the image of the set so in this case if I call this set in here let's call it D where D is a subset of A then if we look at all of the elements in the codomain that are mapped from D, in other words have arrows emanating from D, or the second part of an ordered pair originating in D. So we call this the image of D. So this assumes that you're starting with a set in the domain and you're sort of pushing it forward using the function um, and you want to look at the set where it lands. So in our prior example, if I picked um, uh, D to be the set AB, then uh, the image of D would just be 1. So um, if D is equal to the set AB, then the image of D is equal to just the set 1 because here in this example A maps to 1 and B maps to 1. So you can do a similar process but in reverse. You could pick a subset of the codomain and I could call it E, call it anything I like, and we could associate another set to that in the domain by looking at all those elements that end up hitting something in E, right? And we want to call this set the pre-image of E. So that's the pre-image of E. And we use sort of um, compelling notation that can be kind of confusing. We call this F inverse of E, or the pre-image of E. We use that F inverse notation. Um, but uh, we don't want to get too carried away because uh, we need special properties to have an inverse function. We don't ha need special properties to have a pre-image. So um, if I look back at this example here and I picked, um, let's say, the set 3, 4, 5, and 6 in the codomain. So let's let E equal 3, 4, 5, and 6 in the codomain of the example we did prior. Then uh, what is F inverse of E? Well, it's all elements with a s all ordered pairs with a all first terms in orders pa ordered pairs that have a second term in E. Or if you think of it in terms of arrows, it's all elements that have uh, that are have an arrow that hits something in E. So if I circle here, which I think I said was 3, 4, 5, and 6. There are only two elements that end up mapping to something in that set. So it's D and E. So the pre-image of this set E is just D and E. So the sets that we associate with a function most naturally are the domain, the codomain, the image, 
of a set in the domain or the pre-image of a set in the codomain.